question. If I'm walking and running the same distance, why does running actually burn more calories? Quick answer, because running at vertical lift impact forces, muscle activation and extra air resistance, all of which increases energy use. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ben here and let's bend this question together. If you find this useful, like and follow, it helps more people see it. Now, let's break this down. Physics gives us a starting point. Work equals force times distance. Same body weight, same kilometer. So the baseline really looks equal. But your body isn't a machine sliding across the floor. Biomechanics change everything. Number one, running lifts your body up. Walking keeps one foot on the ground. Running sends both feet airborne. And that consistent lifting against gravity costs energy. Number two, running uses more muscles. Higher landing forces recruit more glutes, hips, core, and upper body stabilizers. More muscles working means more oxygen, and that means more calories burned. Number three, running increases drag. The faster you move, the more air you must push aside. Drag rises with speed, and that's another hidden energy cost. Number four, running increases recovery burn. The body needs more oxygen afterwards to reset and repair, and this adds extra calorie burn even after you stop. So taken together, these factors explain why running typically burns about 20 to 30% more calories per kilometer than walking. And I think instinctively, most people recognize this without knowing the physics. Going for a walk, changing that to a jog, to a run, instantly changes your breathing, rhythm, and effort. Your body knows that work has gone up. So the science question though is, does walking and running the same distance use the same amount of energy? I hope after today's talk, the answer clearly is no. Running reliably costs more and the evidence is very strong. Bandit factor today, nine out of 10. Walking and running, I think, are both excellent forms of exercises. Walking builds consistency. Running builds cardiovascular power. What you need to do is choose the one that's safe and sustainable for you. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. This is Dr. Ben signing off. Stay well, stay curious, and keep bending those health truths until they finally make sense. I will see you again.